I've got depression. I don't understand it. Like, 2020 was supposed to be my decade, bro. So far, 2020 is fucking depressing. I mean, Amazon's on fire. Kobe died. Fucking World War Three, but like so much other shit is happening you stopped hearing about World War Three, you know? China's going for the good old Plague Round 2 gag. And I'm still fucking ginger. Like the fuck is that? Way too much Way depressed. Too much depressed. Sadness. Depression. Depression. But nowadays it's not even cool to be depressed anymore because like er everyone's doing it, you know? Like I'm not I'm not doing it to be cool. But I'm posting it on YouTube, so tension. Somebody. You know what? I'm so depressed, like I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna post on my Snapchat story right now, you know? Yeah. It'll be a black picture. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then caption will say, If you know what's going on in my life, that's cool. But no one talked to me. Gotta make that very clear. I don't want anyone to talk to me because I'm depressed. I don't want to talk to anyone, so I gotta make sure everyone knows that. Alright. I'm super sad right now. Hashtag so sad and put that in. You know who you are. I'm super sad. Gotta clarify that. But no one talked to me because I don't want attention. I'm super sad. Depression. Well, I need a drink. It's a Manmosa. Anyone who hasn't seen another one of my videos, I drink Manmosas. If you don't know what a Manmosa is, go watch any one of my videos. <sighs> I mean, my room is dirty. Working a dead-end job. No friends. My chain is fake as shit. I'm ginger. I'm disabled physically. And probably mentally. I mean mentally, I got depression. That's a mental illness right there. Anyone who disagrees. Sorry, not sorry. I jerk off like five times a day. Like, it's getting pathetic at this point. I mean, look how I'm dressed right now. <laughs> I mean, look how I'm dressed right now. I have no sense of style. Trying to be a YouTuber and only have 14 subscribers. Like, the fuck is that, guys? Come on. Just like, to top it all off, look at what I bought the other day. Like, the fuck is this? I don't give a fuck about this. I mean, who in their right mind buys this? Look at this. Look at that right there. Who, who buys this? <laughs> the fuck even is this? Who in their right mind buys this? Maybe because it's, because I'm not in my right mind. Because... Were you not listening? I'm fucking depressed. I mean, look at my fucking room. Shit's a fucking mess. I got shit everywhere. Cause I'm depressed. Bars! I'm gonna draw you guys a little chart. Uh, to like, explain my depression for you. Cause everyone's depressed in different ways. Like, you could be disabled and ginger, or you could be broke. Kinda. I don't got much money, but. Or. Damn, my life sucks. Alright. Doesn't matter. Chart time. With sentimental. Alright, so first thing on the chart is depression. Alright, I just want to make sure everyone sees that. Main category of today's video. Depression. DEPRESSION! Alright. Second thing. Being an alcoholic. Now watch this. Watch what I do right here. Depression goes around the circle into being an alcoholic. And then being an alcoholic makes you more depressed. Fuck, I'm going the wrong way. I'm not used to this backwards video shit. I'm kind of like looking at the video so I don't fuck up. Sorry, guys. All right, so it's like an endless loop, you know? It's just a loop. It's just a constant cycle. So what I'm going to do is add some more elements into it to see if we can break the cycle because, you know, fucking science and all that. So let's just add a little thing right here, and then add a little thing right here. All right, we added two more elements, all right? So depression, that leads to 14 subscribers, which leads to drinking, being an alcoholic, 
and then being an alcoholic oh shit this way being an alcoholic leads to buying stupid shit just like this fucking thing you think i was sober when i bought this no i can't even remember the store that i went to but i bought this shit the other day what the fuck is this okay now watch what happens when i add youtube antidepressant videos all right look at the chart now all right so being an alcoholic and then buying stupid shit all right and obviously that's gonna lead back to depression but once you're depressed yeah you still have 14 subscribers because you're depressed and you don't want some to watch some depressed asshole fucking on youtube but then look at this it doesn't go back to being an alcoholic it goes straight to antidepressant youtube videos which that eventually leads to grow the fuck up which leads to does that say suicide just kidding god depression. everyone knows the first step to cure your depression is admitting you're depressed and this is what i'm doing right now i am i'm fucking depressed that the second step to curing your depression is to search the internet. So I'm gonna do that. What the fuck is this? Depression. So I figured the best video to start on today is if you're depressed, watch this. What is up you guys? Welcome back. It feels so good to finally be back once again. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Kaylee. Well, so far, I mean, your audience is depressed people and you keep talking about yourself. Feel like my name is hi guys like come on bro it's not about you i just want to give a quick disclosure that this information this wisdom this knowledge that i'm sharing with you guys today is not one of my own this is just information that i have gathered from books that i've read um from other youtube videos that i've watched just from books and youtube videos that you've watched I mean, if it, the information is already out there, why the fuck are you just repeating it? You're nothing but just a copycat. Today's topic in particular, the information that I am going to be sharing with you, is sourced from, I guess you could call a spiritual teacher um, by the name of Abraham Lincoln? Hicks. Shit. So to kind of give you guys a little backstory, if any of you guys don't know who I am, I have been traveling in this short bus with my boyfriend and my dog lola that's sitting right over here next to me for the last almost two years all right i don't think we should be learning how to not be depressed videos from women who live with their boyfriend in a short bus we are in mexico right now crossing into the guatemala border in just a couple days and you're in mexico god there's a worse place to be someone tell me Africa. Just kidding. God. Um, I've dealt with a lot of periods of anxiety and depression, and I think the reason being is because you're living a fucking short bus. You know what? I'm not allowed to be depressed anymore. Look at this. <laughs> Look at my house. Like I could just clean my room and not be depressed tomorrow. Actually, I have a lot of problems. Never mind. The technique that I'm going to be talking about in particular today is actually called the emotional scale. So basically what the emotional scale is, is a scale of emotions. Oh, the, the emotional scale is a scale of emotions. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And they range from low vibration all the way up to the highest vibration. I mean, I gotta bring it up. Like, her chart is way better than my chart. Where'd my chart go? I'm so depressed, I lost my chart. Oh, there it is. Let's, let's compare charts real fast. Yeah, her chart kind of kicks ass, all right. Girl with highlights, one. Sentimentals, zero. So a technique that I have been trying to practice over probably the last five years. Wait, wait. I don't know if I have five years left. What? I mean, I'm not one to put work into things, so... Fuck it, I'll just be depressed forever. <laughs> <sighs> Fucking depression. Um, saying an affirmation such as, I am joy, I am abundant, I am beautiful, I am successful. 
You know what? That's that's super genius right there. Yes. I am successful. I am rich. All the ladies dig me. I am not depressed. I am not ginger. I am not disabled. I feel a lot better now. That Thank you. Sometimes saying those very general things almost make you feel worse. Oh, I guess. I guess that makes you feel worse. Okay. I feel worse now. Because it feels so unobtainable at that point of hopelessness. I mean, I was literally just feeling good, and then you just destroyed everything I just said. Like, depression. So some examples of affirmations that I've used in the past that have kind of helped me snap myself out of that hopelessness and just give me that instant slight relief that I am searching for are things such as I am in control of my thoughts and beliefs. Why didn't I think of that? You know, just fucking lie to yourself. So that is one technique that I have been starting to implement that has been a real game changer for me over the last couple months. And I've noticed a difference when I use affirmations that I actually believe and that are more obtainable for me in that state than it allows me to kind of quickly crawl out of that hopelessness that I sometimes tend to get into. All right, I didn't understand like half the words you said, and it's not just because you said them fast or anything. I'm, I just don't know a lot of words. So this is pretty boring, so I'm gonna go find a new video. Let's go see what's next. If you're depressed, watch this. No, I already watched one of those. Those kind of suck. Wait, stop wasting your life. That could be good. Do you know what day of the week you are most likely to die from a heart attack? I don't even know what day of the week it is right now. Take a guess. I'll give you a second. I'm gonna guess Monday, cause <laughs> fuck Mondays, bro. It's Monday. <clears throat> Called it. I'm on some Garfield shit. Care to guess what time? It is between 8 and 9 a.m. Do you know what else happens Monday at 8? Because that's when you start working. That is the same day and time people get ready to go into jobs. They hate. I mean, he said the long version, but I'm going to give myself two. I'm two for two. Coincidence? I think not. I don't think so. Take a look at this chart. This is the lifespan of the average person. On average, we live about 80 years. Bro, I'm trying to die when I'm 60. Low key, but 70. I thought we we're trying to not be depressed. Now you're telling me to live until I'm 80? If we're lucky, we start working at about 18, and we work, 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 and retire at about 67. The average is 67 for retirement? Oh shit, I really need my YouTube channel to start popping off, bro. Now what does this tell you? That for better or for worse, the majority of your life will be spent at work. Why are you making me more depressed, bro? This music, like this start, this literally sounds like the start to a T Grizzly song. Do not spend that time unhappy. Like my friend Jay. See, Jay would always say, We're gonna go down to the stables, need some hay. On me, don't worry, I'll pay. Hey, and if we're lucky, we'll all get laid by some horses who are super gay. I told you it was a start to a T Grizzly song, bro. They're already busting out the rhymes. When I finish school, then I'll be happy. Well, Jay finished school, but he wasn't happy. So then Jay said, when I get a job, then I'll be happy. Jay got a job, but he still wasn't happy. So Jay said, when I get married, settle down and have kids, then I'll be happy. Well, he got married, settled down, had two kids, but still wasn't happy. So then Jay said, okay, when the kids leave home and I retire, then I'll be happy. Well, the kids left home and he retired, but he still wasn't happy. So Jay started going to church. And I asked Jay why he was going to church so much. And he said, 
Because when I die, then I'll be happy. Depression. Man, I thought this was an antidepressant, bro. The only thing I love is you anymore. <laughs> Wait. This guy's like 24. How the fuck did he watch this entire guy's life? Oh my god, this is a hypothetical, bro. This shit ain't Jay. Jay ain't real. This is a made-up character, bro. This, this isn't your friend. They be capping on all us, dog. Jay's story, however sad, is not unique. I could have replaced Jay with Johnny or Bonnie. You're a fucking liar. Fucking asshole. We have to be happy right now. How? We must either find a job we love or bring more love into our jobs. You could watch the movie Yes Man and then they just have this same vague advice. You know, just, just be happy, you know? Stop being depressed. Well, fuck. I didn't think about it that way. <laughs> Depression. It is time to step out of the rat race. Cause the funny thing is, even if you win, make a load of money, hold up the trophy that everybody hails. You're still a furry rodent with a pointy nose and long tail. I don't, I don't get it. This ain't Fortnite. Fortnite, bro. His research is decisive. He says when you're happy, your intelligence rises, creativity rises, your productivity rises. <laughs> and you know what else is funny? You also make more money. Wait, being happy makes you make make more make more money? Okay, I'm happy. Taking off the depression one piece at a time. Who needs all that? All you need is happiness. Where the fuck's the money? Well, shit. I've been bamboozled. All right. This guy brings up some pretty good points. You know, like, if you're depressed, working, just... You know, be happy. So let, let's check his credibility. Let's let's see what else is on his YouTube channel. You know, like see what kind of videos he makes. Unless they're just all just be happy videos, then that, that's fine, I guess. He killed her son. Mom teaches him a. I'm assuming the next word is lesson. A 14-year-old boy shot and killed an innocent teenager. To prove himself to his gang. If you don't want to murder people, just don't be in a gang, you know? Like, who murders people to have friends? Assuming they're not good friends, also, if they're- The first initiation is, yo, go murder someone, bro. You don't want those friends. Be my friend. I don't have friends. As he was being taken away in handcuffs, the mother of the boy who was shot stood up slowly, looked him in the eye, and said, I'm gonna kill you. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna fucking kill you. Actually, that is justified. I'm. I take back all the things I said. If I had a kid, and he got murdered just so some dude could have friends, yeah, that'd be fucked up. Why? Why is this sad? I thought you're a motivational person. Maybe there's a surprise twist ending, like. All right, I'm throwing a wild ball out there. I'm not gonna air it if like it doesn't turn out to be true. But <laughs> the mom loves him, the guy who murdered her son, and then <laughs> he becomes their news. There's no way. There's no way. Not even the gang members came to visit him. Gang members are not good friends. And I want to know if you would stay here. I want to know if. I could adopt you as my son. I'm, I'm 
actually impressed with myself. Slowly feeling less depressed just because these purposely depressing videos are not making me depressed at all. I would say I'm not as depressed as I once was anymore. Maybe even moderately happy? But I'm not sure. I mean, maybe... Maybe just one more little advice video. Alright, well I found one more. You are not depressed. Stop it. You are not depressed. Stop saying that. Well, he's got me hooked. Alright, not depressed anymore, guys. Bye. Now that's quality content. I'm depressed.